Dung Ding Fu is living out his final days racked with the pain of lung cancer. Lung cancer blamed on toxic pollution. My doctor asked me if I lived near a chemical plant. In fact, he lives very close to one. The Red Butterfly Chemical Factory lies right at the heart of central China's Yongxi village. Since 2002, the plants process strontium carbonate, a powerful substance used in color TV screens. Dozens describe how the factory's waste is making them sick. Many say they've developed painful rashes from the village water. And several people have been arrested for speaking out. But locals showed no fear when a plainclothes police officer confronted our CBS News crew. The angry crowd eventually drove him away. But it's cancer, not the police, that's the biggest threat here, explains environmental activist Xiang Chun. Before, cancerous illnesses were rare in this area, but now they're common. Common and growing. A government study never made public looked at a thousand people living near the factory and found 40 to 50 cancer cases in 2007. Village doctors estimate that number may be as high as 70 now. CBS News contacted Red Butterfly for its side of the story. In a fact statement, they say they've spent $13 million in environmental monitors and waste control over the last 10 years. But the family of this 14-year-old with leukemia says that's all smoke and mirrors, arguing the company simply reduces factory emissions when inspectors visit. Red Butterfly has already been forced to close one regional factory. But lingering pollution there leads to ongoing complaints of blurry vision, liver problems and lung congestion. Here's a sample of the water that's flowing in the rivers all around this village. The locals say the water was clear before the factory opened, allowing them to live off the land. That's a distant memory. During the global economic downturn, the factory will undoubtedly stay open. It's highly unlikely that cracking down in industrial polluters is going to be a top priority for Beijing. Villagers say the area's wealthiest people have already moved away, leaving the most vulnerable to deal with the toxic downside of China's industrial rise. Celia Hutton, CBS News, near Chongqing, China.